Imagine finding a hidden gem at a yard sale that turns out to be worth millions. From records to rare artifacts, people have found unbelievable treasures in the most unexpected places. In this video, we'll discuss the stories of the 10 most valuable items ever found at yard sales. In 2002, Warren Hill, a record collector from Montreal, has stumbled upon an unexpected treasure at a yard sale. He found a record with a handwritten label, no cover art, nothing to suggest it was anything special. It cost him just 75 cents. Little did he know, this record was about to change his life. This wasn't just any record. It turned out to be a rare copy of the Velvet Underground's debut album. But this wasn't the version everyone knew. This was an unreleased alternate version, a piece of music history lost to time until Hill found it. The Velvet Underground, led by Lou Reed and John Cale, was a band that influenced countless artists and bands that came after them. Despite not being widely recognized in their time, their impact on the music scene was profound. So, finding an unreleased version of their debut album was akin to discovering a hidden piece of music's past. Warren Hill didn't realize the value of his find at first. It was only after he shared his discovery with music experts that he understood the magnitude. This record was one of only a few copies in existence. Its rarity and significance to music history made it extremely valuable. In 2006, Hill decided to auction off the album. The music world buzzed with excitement. Collectors and enthusiasts from around the globe were eager to own a piece of history. When the auction ended, the record sold for $155,000. From a 75-cent yard sale find to a six-figure sale, the album's journey was nothing short of incredible. This story is a perfect example of how treasures can be found in the most unexpected places. Warren Hill's remarkable find not only netted him a fortune, but also returned a lost piece of music history to the public eye. Warren Hill's lucky find of a rare album might seem like a once-in-a-lifetime story, but wait till you hear about the Bond watch bought for $38 that fetched over $160,000 at auction. At a flea market, an Englishman stumbled upon a watch priced at just $38. Little did he know, this wasn't any ordinary timepiece. This watch had a history that would astonish the world of cinema and collectors alike. It was a watch worn by James Bond in the iconic film Thunderball. Thunderball, a classic in the Bond series, featured Sean Connery as the suave spy. The watch, with its unique modifications, played a key role in the film. It wasn't just a device to tell time, but was equipped with a Geiger counter, a critical tool for detecting nuclear radiation in the movie's plot. This made the watch not only a piece of movie memorabilia, but a unique piece of cinematic gadgetry. The discovery of the watch's true identity and its connection to James Bond's cinematic universe sparked excitement among collectors and fans. Its modifications, specifically made for the film, elevated its value far beyond its original purchase price. The watch represented a piece of film history, encapsulating the ingenuity and charm of the James Bond franchise. When it came time to auction the watch, the anticipation was palpable. Collectors from around the globe, eager to own a piece of James Bond history, drove the price up. The auction ended with the watch selling for an impressive $160,175. From a modest $38 investment at a flea market to fetching over a hundred grand at auction, the watch's journey was extraordinary. This story highlights the unexpected value hidden in everyday objects. The Englishman's find not only brought him a significant financial windfall, but also contributed a piece of lost history back to the James Bond legacy. Our next story reveals the hidden worth of what seemed like mere costume jewelry. In the 1980s, a woman found what she thought was a piece of costume jewelry at a local garage sale in London. She bought it for a mere 10 pounds, at $13, liking how it looked. For 30 years, she wore it, unaware of its real worth. It wasn't until she decided to have it appraised that she discovered its true value, a 26.27 carat diamond. The diamond size and clarity were extraordinary. Diamonds of such magnitude are rare and highly sought after by collectors and enthusiasts. The woman had been wearing a small fortune around her neck, thinking it was just a piece of costume jewelry. 
When the time came to auction this remarkable find, the jewelry world was a buzz. A diamond of this size and quality rarely comes to market, and certainly not with such a unique backstory. The auction drew attention from the highest echelons of the jewelry world, with bidders eager to own this accidentally discovered gem. The auction itself was a tense affair, with the price climbing higher and higher as bidders competed for the diamond. In the end, the piece sold for an astounding 850 grand, from a 10-pound purchase at a garage sale to an $850,000 windfall. The journey of this diamond is a testament to the unexpected treasures hiding in plain sight. Next, let's see how a simple bull from a yard sale became a multi-million dollar masterpiece. A family in New York made an astonishing find at a yard sale, purchasing a simple white bull for just $3. This wasn't any ordinary bull, however. It turned out to be a rare Chinese artifact dating back over a thousand years to the Northern Song Dynasty. This discovery would lead to an incredible journey ending at a Sotheby's auction, where it fetched $2.2 million. The bull's initial allure was its simple beauty. The family used it without knowing its true value. Its significance was uncovered when they took it to experts for evaluation. The specialist at Sotheby's confirmed it was indeed a significant piece of Chinese history. The bull was identified as a Ding Bull, named after the Ding Kilns in Hebei province, renowned for their fine pottery. The Northern Song Dynasty, ruling from 960 to 1127, was known for its advancements in culture and the arts. Pieces from this era are rare and highly prized by collectors. The fact that this bull had survived in such good condition for nearly a thousand years added to its value. As news of the bull's origin and impending auction spread, interest from collectors around the world surged. The auction day was filled with anticipation. Bids came in from all corners, each one pushing the price higher. The final bid of $2.2 million was beyond anyone's expectations, especially for the family who had originally purchased the bull for a mere $3. Next, we'll explore a sketch hidden behind an ordinary painting, revealing the genius of a pop art icon. An art collector made the buy of a lifetime at a Las Vegas garage sale where he picked up a few paintings for just $5. Hidden behind one of these artworks was a sketch that would astonish the art world. It was an original piece by Andy Warhol, one of the most iconic figures in the visual art movement known as pop art. This discovery turned out to be worth an estimated $2 million. Andy Warhol, famous for his contributions to pop art, had a distinctive style that captured the essence of consumer culture. His works are among the most sought after by collectors and museums worldwide. Finding an original Warhol sketch, therefore, was like striking gold for the collector. The story began when the collector, simply looking to decorate his home, stumbled upon the sale. The paintings caught his eye, not because of their frames or because he recognized their value, but because they fit the aesthetic he was looking for. It wasn't until later, when examining his purchase more closely, that he discovered the hidden sketch. Experts were called in to verify the authenticity of the find. They confirmed it was indeed a genuine Warhol, dating back to the early days of his career. This piece, previously unknown to the art community, provided a new insight into Warhol's early artistic explorations. When news of the discovery broke, it caused quite a stir. Art enthusiasts and collectors were eager to see the newly found sketch, and speculation about its value began to circulate. The piece's estimated worth of $2 million reflected not only Warhol's significance in the art world, but also the rarity and unexpected nature of the find. The collector's initial $5 investment turned into a multi-million dollar windfall, all thanks to a keen eye and a bit of luck. Imagine finding a document that founded a nation behind a $4 painting. Our next story is just as incredible as it sounds. In Adamstown, Pennsylvania, a man bought an old painting for just $4. He was interested in the frame, thinking it might be useful for another picture. What he didn't know was that behind the canvas of this seemingly ordinary painting hid a treasure of immense historical and monetary value, a rare copy of the Declaration of Independence. This document wasn't just any copy. 
Printed on July 4, 1776 by John Dunlap, it was one of the 24 original copies sent out to the colonies to announce the independence of the United States from Britain. Discovering such a significant piece of American history in such an unexpected place was nothing short of miraculous. After finding the document, the man took it to an auction house to have it verified. Experts confirmed its authenticity and its incredible worth. This wasn't just a piece of paper, it was a symbol of American freedom and independence, making it highly valuable to collectors and historians alike. The auction itself was a spectacle. Interested buyers from all around the world placed their bids, each one hoping to own this piece of American history. The bidding war escalated until finally the document sold for a jaw-dropping $2.42 million. The man's modest $4 investment had turned into a fortune. From a historic declaration to royal slumbers, up next is a bed that opens up the luxury and intrigue of Tudor royalty. A remarkable find occurred when an antique bed, discarded in a parking lot, was bought for around $2,850. Little did the buyer know, this was no ordinary piece of furniture. It was later identified as King Henry VII's bed, a piece of English history valued at $25 million. This bed is now a prized display at Hever Castle, offering a tangible link to the Tudor era. The journey of this bed from a forgotten item in a parking lot to a historical treasure is a story of luck and expert detective work. Initially purchased as a unique, if somewhat elaborate piece of furniture, the buyer had no idea of its royal origins. It was only after careful examination and research that its true identity came to light. Historians and experts were called upon to verify the bed's origins. They used a combination of wood analysis, artistic styles, and historical records to trace its lineage back to the Tudor period. It was determined to be a marriage bed, possibly made to commemorate the union of King Henry VII, the first Tudor king, and Elizabeth of York, which effectively ended the Wars of the Roses by uniting the houses of Lancaster and York. The bed's craftsmanship, materials, and symbols all pointed to its royal past. Carved symbols and motifs matched those associated with Henry VII and his reign, further solidifying its authenticity as a piece of national history. The revelation that this was King Henry VII's bed stunned the antiques world and the public. It wasn't just the bed's royal connection that made it valuable, but also its rarity. Furniture from this period rarely survives, making this bed an extraordinary find. Valued at $25 million, the bed was acquired by Hever Castle, the childhood home of Anne Boleyn, making it an ideal location for such a significant piece of Tudor history. Today, visitors to the castle can view this magnificent bed, a silent witness to the opulence and intrigue of the Tudor court. Shifting from royal treasures to a modern masterpiece, our next story reveals an artwork tangled in controversy and worth a fortune. A retired truck driver named Terry Horton stumbled upon a large, colorful painting at a thrift shop, thinking it might make a good target for darts. She bought it for just $5, unaware that her purchase might be worth millions. It was only after a friend suggested that the painting resembled the work of Jackson Pollock, a famous abstract expressionist painter, that Horton began to consider its potential value. Jackson Pollock is known for his unique style of dripping paint, a technique that gained him fame in the art world. His works are highly valued and sought after by collectors. The suggestion that Horton's thrift shop buy could be a genuine Pollock has sparked an incredible journey to establish its authenticity and worth. Horton sought opinions from art experts, some of whom believed the painting could indeed be a real Pollock. However, proving the painting's authenticity was not straightforward. The art world is meticulous about verification, requiring solid provenance and scientific analysis to confirm an artwork's origins. Despite facing skepticism and challenges in proving the painting's authenticity, Horton remained determined. She was offered $9 million by a Saudi Arabian buyer, but she turned it down, holding out for her asking price of $50 million. 
Her quest to validate the painting as a genuine Pollock became the subject of a documentary, highlighting her unexpected dive into the art world and her fight for recognition of her find. The story of Terry Horton and her potential Pollock is a fascinating tale of luck, determination, and the elusive nature of art's true value. While the painting's authenticity remains unresolved, Horton's adventure raises questions about the art world's acceptance of found objects and the true worth of art. From an unexpected art find, we move to a legal drama over a vintage stock certificate. Let's see how a simple paper sparked a million-dollar battle. Tony Marin visited an estate sale where he purchased a box of old documents for just $5. Among these documents was a seemingly insignificant stock certificate from the Palmer Oil Company. Little did Marin know, this piece of paper would spark a legal battle over shares potentially worth $130 million, linking back to one of the world's most recognizable companies, Coca-Cola. Marin, intrigued by the potential value of his find, started researching the history of the Palmer Oil Company. His investigation led him to discover that the company had merged with a company that was eventually acquired by Coca-Cola. Believing that he had struck gold, Marin claimed that the stock certificate entitled him to a stake in Coca-Cola, potentially making him and his family multi-millionaires. The claim was not as straightforward as Marin had hoped. Coca-Cola contested his assertion, leading to a complex legal battle that delved into the intricacies of corporate mergers, acquisitions, and the legal standing of old stock certificates. The case highlighted the challenges of establishing the validity and current value of historical documents, especially when they're linked to companies that have gone through numerous changes over the years. Even with the initial excitement and the potential for a massive windfall, the courts ultimately ruled against Marin's family, stating that Coca-Cola did not have to honor the old stock certificate as a claim against the current company. The decision was a disappointing end to what seemed like a once-in-a-lifetime discovery. Marin's journey from a $5 purchase to a legal battle with Coca-Cola serves as a fascinating example of the surprises and challenges that can arise when delving into the past. Our final tale brings us back to the world of art, where a garage sale connects a man to a lost piece of photographic history. Rick Norsigian while browsing a garage sale, stumbled upon two boxes filled with old glass plate negatives. He bought them for $45, attracted by their historical look, but unaware of the treasure he'd found. These were not just any old photographs. They turned out to be lost works by Ansel Adams, one of America's most renowned photographers, with an estimated value of $200 million. Ansel Adams is celebrated for his stunning black and white landscapes, capturing the raw beauty of the American West. His works are iconic, symbolizing not only artistic achievement, but also a deep respect for nature. The discovery of these lost prints added a significant chapter to the history of American art and photography, uncovering works that were thought to be destroyed in a fire in 1937. After purchasing the negatives, Norsigian spent years researching and verifying their authenticity. Experts in photography, art history, and handwriting analyzed the negatives, concluding they were indeed the work of Adams. The detailed analysis matched Adams' known style and techniques, and even included recognizable locations that Adams was known to photograph. The revelation of these negatives being attributed to Ansel Adams sparked excitement and debate in the art world. Some saw it as a miraculous addition to Adams' legacy, while others questioned the authenticity of the works. Despite the debates, the consensus among many experts and the compelling evidence presented confirmed the negative's historical and artistic value. Norsigian decided to share this incredible find with the world. Reproductions of the photographs were made, allowing art lovers and the public to witness these newly discovered pieces of American history. The sale of these prints and the story behind their discovery brought Norsigian not just financial gain, but also placed him at the center of one of the most remarkable stories in the world of art. These remarkable finds teach us to look beyond the surface, showing that sometimes the most ordinary items can hold extraordinary stories and values. 
So the next time you're at a yard sale or thrift store, remember, every item has a history. And perhaps, hidden within, a treasure waiting to be found. For more fascinating tales of fortune and luck, don't miss our next video, Man Gives Dog Scratch-Off Ticket Wins Mega Millions.